Hey loves, I'm back. I know it's been a minute. In this video, I'm going to show you how I achieved this definition because y'all, my hair is so defined and so soft using two products from TGIN, which is a black owned line and you can also get this collection at Ulta. The first product I'm going to be using is the TGIN Rose Water Leave-In Conditioner, which is designed to add shine and body to dull hair while providing moisture all day. The second is their Rose Water Curl Defining Mousse, which is formulated with rose water and berries to deeply nourish the hair, reduce hair loss, and control frizz. Keeping your hair touchable, very soft, and defined curls. Now this is just what it says. Um, this video is not sponsored. I bought these products by myself. Well, with my own money <laughs> by myself. Oh, uh, what am I too? Okay, so I am going to go ahead. I already added the leave-in conditioner. For whatever reason, my camera's been acting really, really janky. And it started like doing some kind of weird blue screen. So it was cutting off a lot of my footage. I'm sorry. Um, This was the most of this. What you're seeing is the footage I was able to get from my camera. So I'm going to go ahead and flat twist and then I'm going to three strand twist my ends. I already have videos of how I do a three strand twist out which is a lot more detailed. Again because um, my camera was just acting really really crazy. This was the best um, I could I can get off my camera because I just didn't want all this work to go to waste. Like I didn't do all of this for nothing. You feel me? So um, the product says, the curl defining mousse says it reduces hair loss. Now I don't know what that means if they're talking about shedding. As far as hair loss, I always feel like hair loss could be like alopecia or it's like some under, underlining kind of health issues where you might need to go to a doctor for it. So I'm not really sure what they're saying with all of that. So I'm not really going to speak on that. But what I can say as far as my hair feeling incredibly soft my hair looking really shiny, um, my curls, the definition was so beautiful and so defined. It did deliver on that. Um, I have fine low porosity hair, meaning that I have fine strands. And because I have a lot of strands, my hair gives off the illusion that it's fuller than it actually is. If you've been watching me for a long time, you will know how my hair just, you know, does what it does. But that's what it is. I'm only using one pump of the mousse and not a whole lot because with these products being that I'm layering my hair with a leave-in conditioner and a mousse, my hair tends to get on the heavy side because I have a finer texture that it can weigh my hair down. So I'm only using one pump and uh, not even a lot of the leave-in conditioner. Pretty much a little goes a long way. I decided to air dry because for whatever reason when I air dry I do get better definition but I don't get a lot of length or it doesn't really allow me to pick my hair a lot to get a whole lot of volume. So that's kind of the things that I tend to sacrifice when I don't sit under a dryer. Because when I sit under a dryer, I get my length as well as my hair is loose enough to where I can pick my hair to the volume that I desire. But when I air dry my hair and I work with a wet set, my hair is more defined and my hair lasts longer. Like I can get three days out this look versus if I was to sit um, under the dryer. And that's just me being honest. Now, uh, cause with certain hairstyles, if, if it's a rod set, I can get all day under a dryer. But with um, twist, because uh, twist or braid out kind of sets because I like to pick my hair. If it's not on a wet set, then I'm not going to get um, longevity out the styles. My hair is just really weird. Like perm rods and flexi rod sets, they last. They can last really long because, you know, they tend to fall. And you can always just style them a certain kind of way. Versus with twist outs and braid outs, because I like to pick my hair, I tend to sometimes tangle the roots of my hair. So I don't get as a longer um, a look with it versus on wet hair because on wet hair it's just going to hold the definition a lot longer versus when my hair is on um, dried hair or I just went about it differently it's, it's just weird it's just I'm trying to break it down the best way but it's just weird my hair is just she just acts funny she just has her moments she has her moments where she wants to be like yes girl we will rock all week and then she has her moments where she's like you're only going to get next day hair be thankful you got this so and it also depends on the products too because some products are really good at giving me um, 
longevity and then there's some products that you know my hair just frizzes up and it just doesn't do nothing the next day so all of that just plays a major part how you set your hair whether it's air dry wet what you use all of that just which is why just being natural is such a difficult thing I always look at people crazy when they always say natural you know is not a hard thing to be but natural is very very hard I've been natural for over a decade and I still find myself trying to figure out ways to make my life a lot easier with my hair. So I can only imagine those of you that are watching me or that have asked me questions and that are new to it, I know what you're going through because it is frustrating. It is hard to financially figure out which products work because you don't want to turn into a product junkie. So that's why I always try new products. It's not that I want to damage my hair, but it's also that I just like to try new things. My hair does get used to certain kind of products. So sometimes some products don't have the same kind of results anymore or they end up changing the ingredients magically. Um, but I will say with this line, this was my first time trying um, TGIN and I was very impressed with the leave-in conditioner and the uh, mousse. I really like it. I look forward to trying these two combinations on uh, perm rods and wash and goes to see the results that I get from them. I haven't did a wash and go in so long. Um, these products, again, you can find at Ulta. And this, again, is not sponsored. Nothing like that. So I let my hair air dry. This is how everything looks. This is how I set my hair. Um, it was a bit loose towards the front part because it's, I don't know, whenever flat twisting with nails always feels really, really weird on my hands. So I'm just going to go ahead and take everything down. And then I like to use a hair serum. You can use whatever kind of hair serum you like. I was using a hair serum from the main choice. Uh, and I like to use hair serums because they tend to like re help reduce frizz and help me, you know, keep control of the curl and whatnot. But for whatever reason, I like a hair serum over oil any day. So now I'm just going to unravel. It doesn't look like I'm unraveling gently, but I am. And... Back to, um, let me touch back to what I was saying about not trying to be a product junkie or trying a whole lot of products. It's kind of what you watch me for. You know, I don't think you really watch me to use the same products over and over again. That would just be so boring. You know, there's always something new coming out. There's always something to try because you never know what, you know, work well on your hair unless you don't try it. But if you are one of those people that have products that work for your hair, and it's doing fine, then there's no need to really be a product junkie unless you're just curious about a new line and you must try. So that's why I try to do these reviews and I just try to show you how I use products, how they work for me. And then some products I discovered that end up being a staple. And then there's some products I've liked one time and then whatever reason, I've just never looked at them again because there's always something. But being a product junkie can be financially, financially um, stressful. So if you have something that works, use it. But if not, it, you know, it, you will eventually find the products that work for you. It took me a long time of, I had one point I was like making products, you know, before I just got to the point where I'm just like, okay, maybe I'm just using the products wrong. And that also was a thing for my hair was that I was using my hair the way I would see certain YouTubers with different hair types for me use their hair. Like I was doing it exactly the way they were doing it and it wasn't working for me because my hair didn't need as much heavy products or didn't need as many products because my hair was a lot finer. So it's also just learning the techniques and, and certain tricks and things that are work well for your hair because like I said with fine hair a little goes a long way even especially with thin hair. My mom has thin hair so I never use a whole lot of products on her hair. But that's really it. I am separating um, some of the twists just to make sure I get a little bit more fullness. I'm going to pick my hair, but it's not going to allow me to pick it to get like ultra, ultra volume. Because again, when I'm styling my hair on wet hair between the shrinkage and the stiffness, the stiffness of it, it doesn't really a lot of, allow me a lot of movement. So I'm just separating. And then I'm going to go ahead and take my edge control and I'm going to lay my edges.
So how I like to take care of my hair at night is I like to put everything up in a pineapple, just one big puff, pretty much. And then I will use my bonnet and place my bonnet over my head. And then in the morning, I'll just shake everything out, refluff, and then keep it moving. And everything tends to fall back into place when I do it in a pineapple. So that's just what works for me. And that just keeps my hair from falling flat because if I, you know, some styles like I could just use a bonnet, but my hair will start to fall flat after certain days. So I find that with twist styles and wash and goes, the bonnet, um, the pineapple puff ponytail with a bonnet on just allows me to keep it to fall back in place. And this is the finished look. Again, thank you for watching my videos and see you next time. Bye.